All right, so welcome everybody to the Stay True Team call. It is May 28th, um, last Thursday of the month. So we've got um, about, what, three and a quarter days left for you guys to hit Success Club. So I posted earlier pressure. today, the pressure is on, the heat is up. Um, if you are close, if you have any points at all, it's not it, even if you have zero points, it's not too late to get Success Club. That's one challenge pack for the next three days, and that'll get you Success Club six. So um, go for it. Don't be afraid of it. Don't be intimidated by it. I'd say if you're having troubles connecting with people, reach out to your upline. Uh, post and stay true. I need help. Do you know? Just let's let's throw it out there. Let's get it done. Um, there is some, you know, as far as things that you can do. I don't know if you're aware of this, but you can go in your back on your online office, and you can send a email. You can send a e card to all your customers. Even the um, do even the restricted ones will receive your emails. We just the restricted again. They we don't. They don't allow us to have their contact info, but if you send an email or you send an e-card through Beachbody, they will receive it. It's the do not contacts that won't receive our stuff. So um, I highly encourage you guys to do that to all your customers, kind of do a last call for the made deals. Um, create a video, link it to a YouTube video, throw that link in there so that they see you, they um, you know see a personal invite to a challenge pack. So that is my... Homework for you for this week. No, I'm joking. That's just I'm a little, that. a little thing I that I'm writing it I would highly recommend that you do. If you have a CEO, same thing. Send out an email, create a video, put it into an email, and send it to all your customers. Just telling them final call, last chance, May specials, and uh, get get some last minute points here. So anyway, uh, there's definitely some incentive for us for those of you who are going to Summit. If you hit Success Club. Uh, what is it, 10 in May and June, and you total Success Club 25, there's different um, awards or rewards that you can earn for achieving um, those numbers. So um, I know there's photo ops involved in it with the celebrity trainers. There's the Success Club dinner party, which I, you know, I was able to attend a couple of those dinners, and they're phenomenal. They spoil you. They're really good. And plus, it's a free meal. So it's one less meal you have to pay for or worry about when you're um, in Nashville. So I encourage you to shoot for that. Um, speaking of Summit, we have some people who are looking for roommates for Summit. So if you are looking to cut costs and want to room up with people, um, I just suggest that if you do that and you don't know them well, to bring earplugs. Okay, that'll make your night a lot quieter because you never know who snores, who doesn't. But um, no, but in all seriousness, <laughs> just reach out to people. Um, we are looking for roommates, look at other teams, look, you know, ask other coaches and everything like that. So there is going to be maintenance tonight on the Beachbody website from 9 o'clock to 11 o'clock p.m. Pacific time. So expect the unknown to happen tomorrow when you wake up. Who knows what our online office will look like. Um, no, they, I shouldn't say that. Sometimes they mess up and or don't mess up, but they prolong the outage and it affects you on Friday morning, but um, shouldn't be a big problem. And the other thing I wanted to announce is that if you are interested in the ACEO, the Automatic CEO app, um, it is now on a mobile phone and it's pretty neat. I, I'm, I'm loving it. I definitely think that um, you know, the $25 you pay each month for everything that you get in automatic ACEO is, de is definitely worth it. It's streamlined for you, and the new mobile app is making it even that much better. In fact, I was torn whether to get on this call tonight or to get on the ACEO phone call that the call that's going on right now that is kind of the intro. So, we gotta to go. app. so we'll talk to you guys later. Short call tonight. <laughs> no. Um, but yeah, and he talked about a free trial for people who wanted to try it. So I'll, you know, as soon as we get the info for that, we'll hand that down to you guys so that uh, you can, in fact, have a free trial um, of the ACO system. So, all right. So who's ready to get started for tonight? I saw a bunch of people making their like pages. That's awesome. That's good to see. Um, if you haven't created your like page yet, don't worry, but get it done.
All right. So um, tonight we're going to talk about uh, advertising on your or for your like page. And I'm just going to walk you through um, some of the tips and some of the things that a friend of mine, um, I'll give you a little bit about his background. He is um, from Alliance. He, I grew up with him. And he is a R&B rap music producer right now out in Arizona. And one of the things that he does for his clientele is he, ha he has owned a software company and a social media company in the past. So his big thing is to get his R&B and rap artists ranked high on Facebook so that they get, get a following. And he really emphasized to me to really look at, you know, when I, when I was creating my ads and when I'm thinking about my ads, who is it that I'm trying to reach? What demographics am I trying to reach as far as um, locations. Um, he, he, he believes that if you're, you know, if he has a personal trainer or if you're a beach body coach and you're trying to become more than a coach and you're trying to sell your own brand, so to speak, then you really need to do some local advertising. If you are a coach who likes the face to face interactions, the hands on um, interactions, then I would recommend, you know, to, advertise locally and I'll, we'll get into that as we go on um, through uh, the advertisement setup here but um, the the biggest thing with that that I learned is that he told me all these places where you can go and you can pay for likes and you can you know join a like my page type group he said that's garbage don't do it um, you need to grow your like page what he calls organically or from within, you need to um, attract attention of people who are interested in fitness, interested in training, interested in health, interested in being a pregnant mom, interested in fitness and pregnancy or fitness and whatever it might be, whatever your niche market is, um, Spanish speaking fitness instructors. Oh, she didn't hear me. I thought Moppy would get her, I'd get Moppy's attention on that one. She's still not watching, but anyway, so we just talked all about you, Moppy, and you couldn't even defend yourself. Um, no, you're muted. So anyway, um, but no, so really it's focusing Chris's in. Fault. That's what she said. Oh, okay, okay. Really focusing in on um, a target market is definitely going to get you better likes. And what I mean by that is interaction with the people in your groups and um, interaction with um, the people who like your page because what your goal is is you want them you want them you want their friends to see that they like your page and their friend will come to your page to check it out to see what you know their friend liked and then they'll like your page and it kind of starts a chain reaction and it builds from that would be called organic growth versus having you know paid likes where you don't know the people and where you're just going in and you're liking somebody's stuff. So then in return, they like your stuff. It doesn't matter how many likes you get. It's the interaction within your page, within your like page. So there's people who have 5,000 likes and their interactions, you go look at their interactions and you know, you see zero to 50 interactions. Then you have people who have 600 likes and you may see interactions upwards to, you know, a hundred, 200 interactions. So we'll take a look at that here. Now I'm gonna go ahead and share the screen. All right. And let me minimize all the stuff that's left on the screen here. All right. So let me move this out of the way. You can't see what I just moved, but there's something in the way, so I moved it. All right, so basically, we're going to use this like page of this random person um, that I found on Facebook. <laughs> and basically, we can see she has 672 likes, okay? Um, the nice thing about that is that she has 70 new likes just this week. So, you know, I've talked to other coaches who are doing this the way that you know, my friend told me to do that, do this. And they're saying that if you're averaging anywhere from um, 55, 60, upwards to 100 likes a week, then you're getting your money's worth. So um, we'll go ahead and, you know, Beth and I both, we spend $3 a day on likes. 
Um, at one point I was spending around $5 a day and I cut mine down to $3 a day and I did not see a drop in the amount of likes that I'm receiving. So I, I definitely think that, you know, for what I'm trying to do and what I'm trying to accomplish that $3 a day is, you know, plenty to spend. I, I don't know. I wouldn't go below that. In fact, my friend, Matt, he told me don't, don't go below $3. So that was just his, his experience as well. So um, he, he did encourage me though, when I could, or when I can to spend anywhere from six to $8 a day on it. But you know, if that, if he said, if you have a short period of time that you can do that for, then it may get you up into the, you know, 125 to 150 likes a week. Um, but it just depends on how fast you want to grow it. So basically um, to get to your ads, what you need to do is you need to um, make sure that you go to your Facebook lineup is what I'll call it because their menu, I guess, is a better word. And Okay, so if I go to my ads manager, so every one of you guys has, has this in your Facebook. Okay, so ads manager. Is it always under your favorites? No. No. No, yours is up. Yeah, it's always under your favorites. Okay. It should be under your favorites in your, on your Second Facebook one. page. And just click on ads manager. And you can see this is a current ad that I have going right now, but we won't talk about that right now. But what we can do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to create an ad. Okay, so the next page you come to, and this is relatively new. In fact, when I did the training with Matt on this, um, we didn't have this page come up. So this is something I believe is, is, par is fairly new. Um, but basically what you want to do for right now is to promote your page. So basically all you're going to do is go ahead and click on promote your page, page likes, and then you, you enter its URL. Hold on a second. Yeah. So we'll go ahead and because I'm an, I'm an ad manager for both Beth's page and my page, I select either or, but once you create your like page, your like page will show up here. So let's go ahead and I'll just select me. Okay. So here's where it comes into selecting your audience. Okay. And basically what you want to do is, you can basically look at who you want your ads to reach and we're just going to create a new audience. You can also create, if I had created a previous audience in an ad campaign, then I could also click on this and get to the previous one. But let's go ahead and just say, I'm going to create a new, um, new advertisements for, I'm just going to select, Let's go Canton, Ohio. So you could collect or click there. Now you saw some things change. Your audience is going to be adjusted. Okay. So we're within a, a 25 miles. We can go within, if you really wanted to focus on Canton, you could go 10 miles or you could go 50 miles. And as you do this, then you'll see things start to change. And that as far as the number, the broadening of your audience um, and things like that. So if you, I, I would suggest, you know, thinking about areas that you like um, or that maybe you have family at or something like that where um, people may recognize your name. Now, if you don't have anything or anywhere or anybody like that, connections or anything like that somewhere, then just do it locally um, to your local market. Didn't I just do the, all of the United States? We did, yeah. Yeah, you can, you can do all over the U.S. as well. Um, it just really depends on, we did select some, um, some of the bigger cities in the U.S. though. So it just really depends on, that is kind of a trial and error thing that we're doing though. So basically, 
I'm going to suggest to stick with the areas here in Ohio, unless you have a big market somewhere else that, you know, you know, Texas or wherever you might be from. So you can select the age group. So I would definitely select and limit this down. Think about what, who your target audience is. So I would say beach body, you're probably not going to want to have to deal with anyone under the age of 18. And, you know, I, I believe my audience was like from age 28 to, let's just pick 45. Okay. So those are just random num numbers of, you know, people in my target audience. Um, obviously you want to make them in that range where of the people that you interact with mostly on a daily basis. Uh, gender, I'm, here's the thing with the gender is that Matt, my friend said the hard part about being a male and doing the advertising is that a lot of times men don't share, men don't like a lot of pages. It's a lot more of the females that do. So he suggests that you know, even me as a male for my like page, he's uh, the first ad that I ran, I just did, I just targeted women. And, um, you know, it's, it, I'd got an okay response. I think I was in the 45, 50 range as far as the likes per week, but I did finally open it up to all. And that's kind of boosted me up, but he's right. It's funny, even with accepting men and women, I'd say one out of every eight, people who like my page is male. The rest of them are female. So something to keep in mind there. Um, languages, I would just select, I'd, I'd just leave that blank here because I have had some Spanish um, speaking people like my page and I know that because when I send them a message, I just see their Facebook page and it shows that you know they're, all their posts are in Spanish and I have no clue what they say. So. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, more demographics. If you click on this stuff, I, Matt did not recommend doing anything with this um, just because, you know, I know he said what percentage of people on Facebook have actually gone in and filled out more demographics. I could probably guarantee you that less than 5% of the people actually go, go in and do that. Um, so here's where more... Um, detail. Here's where we can enter more details. So um, basically what you want to do is you do not want to post um, beach body things, okay? Kind of like um, the Instagram and some of the other social media. Uh, you don't want to post, you know, like P90X. You don't want to post uh, Shakeology. Shakeology, all that type of stuff because you're going to attract and you're going to be advertising to coaches. All right. But what this does is um, Facebook knows what we are interested in. So they can tell by the links we click on. I don't know if you've ever noticed in your right hand column, if you know, you were recently looking at something on Google somewhere to buy something or search for something, all of a sudden you start seeing it magically appear in the right column. That's because Facebook is linked with your Google search engines and some of the other search engines and they know what you're looking at. So basically they know what we're interested in, whether we like it or not. So um, this is where it's to our advantage to, you know, if you are interested in certain topics, like for example, if I click on fatherhood or if I hover over fatherhood, there are 126 million other people who are interested in that same topic or who have liked other pages because they deal something with fatherhood. So that would be, you know, that would be one that you would want to click on and add. And you can see now that stuff is, uh, you're, you're going to see this number here probably won't move all that much because we're really focusing in on Canton, Ohio, which is a very small demographic area when you compare it to the rest of the, U.S. or even bigger cities like Columbus. Um, I, I did an ad for a while that was Columbus, Cleveland, and Akron, and you know I was getting sixty to seventy likes a week. Um, but let's see, you could, you know, aerobics. There's four million people interested in aerobics, so you could.
click on that. Anything that you, when you think of the things that describe you and um, what your interests are, that's what you want to go search for. So if you look at, you know, parent, but let's, let's do a custom one. Let's do, um, I don't know, stay at home dad. See, there's only 285,000 people, but a stay at home dad, that may be somebody who would be more apt to be on the computer, checking Facebook, I don't know. So maybe I, you know, maybe I would click on that one. Um, just, the, you know, there's all kinds of things that you can plug into here. But, you know, the goal is to um, find the topics that are not Beachbody related, where you have a lot of, in the, I'd say, shoot for in the millions of people who have liked it or have an interest in that. Okay, so I don't wanna, that, this is a pretty important part, but I don't wanna spend all night on it, um, but just thinking about you know, your interest and what people might wanna see is what I want you to think about there. <laughs> so I just juggled my words all up. Anyway, behaviors, I wouldn't worry about the behaviors. Um, here is, the connections. So this is important. Okay. Basically you, I want to reach new people. So I always select only people not connected to Glenn Akins. Okay. So these are going to be people that don't know me, people that I'm not connected to and they're, that's who's going to see my advertisement. Um, you can do advanced connection targeting. I've never gone into that, but basically, you know, I've done pretty well with only the people not connected with me. Um, okay. And then it comes down to here and it shows you how much do you want to spend per day? Now keep in mind, we just selected Canton, Ohio only. So our estimated daily reach is pretty low here. Um, but you can go in here and you can adjust it down and you'll see it move. So let's just say I wanted to spend a dollar a day. Well, they're only gonna show this to 230 to 600 people. Okay, so it, it changes if I wanna go to, let's just say $3 a day, then 580 to 1500 people will see it. Um, and then I would suggest to, you know, if you, to really get the full fledged advantage of running ads, you need to just let them run. Um, you know, that's what Matt told me. He said it takes up to, you know, six months for people to continuously run their ads and everything like that to get some good data to look at. Um, he said at the end of one month, you can kind of see what ads are working, what ads are not. Um, and I'll show you that in a second here. But um, basically he said, you just need to let them run continuously and look at it as your pay. That's how you're marketing your business and you're paying for it. So, um, you know, make it a number in here that doesn't scare you too badly, but keep in mind, I mean, if you sell one challenge pack or two challenge packs, then, you know, that's going to pay for your one month of marketing expense, your $90. So, you know, just keep that in mind as you're looking at this as, you know, we are investing in our business by doing that. Okay, so now the next thing that you do is you create your ad. So basically you can, you can upload a video, which I have seen videos start popping up more and more on Facebook. So that might be something that I'm gonna look into in the near future. Um, or you can select images. So basically if you select images, um, there is a button here for free stock images. So if you don't have your own images that look professional, that look like, you know, as, you know, I guess they don't have to be absolute professional, but if, if they aren't nice and, you know, very clear images, then I would definitely use a free stock images. And when you click on that, you can just go in and basically just put in, um, different topics. So put in fitness and basically you're going to see all these picture <clears throat> pictures pop up and you can just select some of them. Um, you know, look at them and 
see which ones I know for a fact that this is one of the p images that I have and it does really well. Um, it attracts people, they see defined people and you know to me it's not too overbearing or too revealing or anything so I thought you know I'll go with it. Um, I've also done some of the other ones well, I, won't, I guess I won't get into too much detail of what I've done. I've done one similar to this one here that really didn't do anything. There, I didn't get a lot of likes from it. It didn't really attract that many people. So, you know, just go through these images and check them out and try them out. And so you can select six images. Um, I'm going to cancel that one there. I'm just going to put select any of these here. I'll just put that one for now. Okay, so then basically, I'm just gonna hit done. So once you've selected your six images, you'll see them post here. And then here's the text that will be in your image or next to your advertisement. So basically what I was told or trained on is that you want to put something in there that's very to the point, you know, something, I don't know, I'm just going to put fitness plus nutrition plus accountability all from your home. Yeah, I kind of like that one. I don't know. <laughs> Write that one down. <laughs> um, but you know, and you can see this is a preview of what my advertisement will look like. All right. So basically, once you do that, then you would just hit place your order. All right. And once you submit your order, then it goes through to Facebook, who they then have to go and they approve your image. They look at your image. They look at your, um, your line here, your what they call text or copy. They'll look at that and basically they'll approve it or not approve it. It happens fairly quick. So um, let's see, I'm going to come back to you guys and make sure you're all still there because I can't see you anyway. But hold on one second. And I'm going to see if you guys have any questions. I've thrown and I've went flying through there. So if you have any questions, we'll talk or I'll answer those right now. It, raise your hand if you have any questions. I actually don't have a question. I do have something to add. Um, one thing that Facebook doesn't tell you is that when you have a like page, you can't message strangers that um, don't like your page. Like if they see your ad and they comment on it and they say, I want to know more, they have to message you first. You don't have a way to communicate with them, which is, are pointless because you're trying to get a new demographic and then Facebook doesn't allow you to bother them basically which I understand why but right right and I'm, I'm gonna show you guys here in a minute what I do when I get likes um, that way you can kind of see the... well you can message them but it goes to their other folder right, right? Yeah. yeah so I know because a lot of mine I've been messaging every single like I've gotten and I think only one person in the past week has actually seen it and gotten back to me. Right. And I've, I would say you're, I've had, I don't know, probably a dozen people in the last couple months, probably three. When did I start in February or no March? Well, the most he got was when we advertised for a f one of our free clean eating groups on the like page. Right. And then all those people, you know, you had to become friends with them in order to be added to the group. So well, that yeah, I was going to get into that in a minute here because that's that's big. I mean, that's just marketing 101, really. Um, the, the whole purpose of the like page is to definitely get people to come into your world, right? So that they can see what you're going on, what you have going on. You can interact with them. Well, we need to be giving away information. We need to be giving away as much information. We should be questioning, am I giving away too much information for free? Okay. Cause if you're not questioning that, then you're not giving enough away. All right. And that's when people really truly, will 
join your group and, you know, listen to what you say, have to say, and think about it. Think about it. If reverse role. Okay. I know that I've gone in, I've done these webinars. Um, you know, uh, one of them was a training on YouTube and the guy gave me a bunch of training before I even sat through the webinar and listened then finally to what his sales pitch was. Right. But I got all this great information and I felt like he had just given me some a wealth of knowledge that I in turn ended up buying his YouTube video training, you know, system because I felt connected to him. I felt like, wow, he's given me so much. He's invested into me. I need to do this. You know, I almost felt obligated to buy from him. Now, everyone may not be like that, but that's the whole psychology behind giving away things is that it's human nature that when somebody helps you in turn, you want to be able to help them. So, you know, we can, that rule can apply to not only our like pages on Facebook, but even to our challenge groups. That's why we don't charge for challenge groups. You know, our intentions there are that people will see the value in the challenge groups and basically feel the connection, build the community and be committed to um, continuing to, you know, be a part of our team and everything. So, um, yeah, there's definitely... Lindsay, that was a great point, and I'm glad you brought that up. Um, but let you know, I'm, I'll talk more about that in a little bit. Any other questions? All right, you all ready to go back to screen share? Wait, Moppy. Oh, Moppy, do you have one? Hold on, let me unmute you. Okay. Okay. So, would you be able to share of some ideas of what do you say to people who just like your page? I mean, not now, but like, you know, like maybe later or something. Yeah. What was that again, though? The what do you, what do you say to people that like your page? Oh, yeah. You when you then reach out. No, I'll what show, I'm, I'm going to yeah. show you guys that. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm going to show you here in a minute. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So I'm going to mute people back up here. All right. <coughs> See, when I, when I share my screen, you all disappear. So I feel like I'm leaving you, but. Yeah. And you better hurry up. It's nine. I know. I know. Got my watchdog here next to me. <laughs> well, I wanted to get on Armbruster's call. All right. So, basically, once you, um, once you have your advertising set up and everything, then. Let's see, let me get back to my page here. Okay, so let's go here real quick to my ads manager. And I just wanted to show you this real quick because you can kind of look and see what has been working, what has not been working. In fact, I um, just have one ad right now working or that's being advertised because it wasn't or because it was doing well. So this is my campaign that I have going. And basically, if you click down on it, it's Akron and Columbus. What picture? Will it show you what Yeah, so if you click here, you see this is active, this one's active, and this is going to be a fly through here, guys, so I don't, because this is later on. So this is, you can see, I thought, okay, exercise, nutrition, and motivation, let's meet your goals together. I thought we're beach body coaches, we have at home fitness programs. So, you know, it looks like she's following something along on the TV. So, you know, you can see this hasn't done all that well. It's only had three page likes from from this ad. So that's probably something that I need to look into as to what I need to change. Now, on the other hand, we've got this ad here. Let's take a look at it. And bingo, it's the one that I was telling you does so well. And you can see it has 692 page likes. So this is my this is my home run hitter so far. And right now it's averaging 40 cents per page like. So you can see it's reaching a lot more people than this one is. And 
I, it's just a better ad. So um, I'll probably take a look at that and, um, you know, change this one or stop using this one up here and find a different picture that might work. This one is doing also doing mediocre. And again, this person's doing a workout on her iPad. So I thought, you know, with the on demand funk feature out, then maybe this one would do well, but it's not doing well. So these are one, you know, these are ads that I'm going to um, either cancel or just change and edit the photo in there. So um, it is an investment. You can, you can see, you know, when I started doing it back in March is when I started and it takes some time to ramp up, you know, and basically now I'm probably averaging, I'm, I'm usually around 60 to 70 something likes per week. So I'm okay with that because that's, you know, where I think I should be. So, all right. So let's look at, let's go to my page now. Cheers, Chuck. <laughs> All right, so if we go to my page, it's gonna show us how many likes I have. Beth's laughing at me for saying cheers, Chuck, because he was right, I mean, it's in my face there. Um, anyway, so you can see here this week, I've got 63 likes, and you, you see when people like your stuff or like your page, basically. So what I, what I will do is, let me get to my, this is what I use like page message. You can put this in Evernote or whatever, but basically I just copy this and I'll go to Claudia Cirillo Verdin and probably not anyone that I'm going to be really trying to reach out to one-on-one -on -one at all. So for her, you can't even, Okay, bad first example. I'm I'm sorry. This one you can't even you can't even message her. So I'm not even going to worry about her. So let's go back to here. Hover over it. Look at Jason Gilmore. All right. So what I generally will do is I'll look at their stuff, and if it's somebody that I feel like we have stuff in common with, or I don't watch really pro wrestling or anything like that. So I don't know too much about what his interests are and I'm not really interested in anything with him, but I'm still going to do this. I'm still going to hit on message and you will see this post here. Your message will go to his other folder because you aren't connected to him on Facebook. And I'm just going to say, Hey Jason, and then command paste. And it just says, thank you so much for liking my page. You must share some interest in health and wellness. Do you mind me asking if you have any specific goals you are working on right now? Okay, so a couple key points to this message that you're sending. Number one, I never copy and paste a name because I've accidentally sent it to people with the wrong name. That's embarrassing. So don't do that. So each time just write in, hey, Jason, hey, whatever, whoever. Um, but then this part, you can always, you know, you want to thank them for liking your page because they didn't have to like your page and you want to show them that you appreciate it. Um, you want to make a point that your page is about health and wellness so that they're aware of, you know, what you're about and then asking them a simple open-ended question such as, do you mind me asking if you have any specific goals you're working on right now? Um, some people will respond and just say, slimming down or I want to lose 20 pounds or I want to do this. I want to do that. Um, but a lot of times you will not hear back from people. So the, the idea behind this though, and creating an audience, one of the things behind it that I was trained on is that basically once you create, let me go ahead and hit send. All right. So what I would do then is just hit back in the browser. This is the cleanest way that I found to do this and then go back and hover over and just go down to the next person and then make your way down through the list until you know you've caught up to where you left off before all right um something else that i picked up on uh, that i wanted to show you guys while we're here is 
giving stuff away. We talked about that. So click banner for a free meal plan and more info. If you click on my banner, then you're going to see a little message over here from me. And then basically, if you click on this link, that is going to take you to a website or a lead collector where basically you're going to get their name and their email address. And then that way you can send them the seven day meal plan shopping list. I did basically took what we do in our free clean eating group and I've put it on here so that anyone can have access to that. Um, but the point is, is to try to engage with them, get their email information. Cause once I get their email info that goes into my customer, um, a CEO follow up list and I'm able to continue to communicate with them. So let me stop the sharing. Okay. So does, does that make sense? Is it, is anyone, does anyone have any questions? Moppy? Um, I know okay. we're against time now, but can sometime um, you can show us how to do that email collector thing. So I know, I know like I, that that whole thing about giving them something for free is something that um, Shalene Johnson does, you right. know, pushes everybody to do it. Um, but I haven't been able to figure out yet how to do it on Facebook. Okay. Yeah, so, so you can do it like that. Now, the other thing that we do is when they, somebody enters our free clean eating group, we make them sign up as a free customer of ours. You can actually send what I did for a while was, you know, that link that I had going to the website to get their information. I yeah. actually had that going to my Team Beachbody free customer sign-up link. Okay, oh, so okay. worst case scenario, you can have that link go straight to that free Team Beachbody sign-up page, which we all have, right? So you can have it go there. The only thing that I felt was a little bit too much was that it was asking for their date of birth. And I just felt like if you don't know somebody, if I don't know Beth and I'm going to her page and this, yeah. and she all of a sudden is asking, I go to a link and it's asking for date of birth and stuff my address and the full fledged form. Then, so I thought, man, that might be too much. So I switched it up and you can go to, you can create one of these in, um, Oh shoot. My mind just went blank. Um, Chimp, or what's the chimp? Oh, MailChimp. MailChimp. Yeah, you can create a lead collector and, and when you create a MailChimp account. Well, you should. Let's you do could, that. Let's make a call about that. You yeah. could You could also use a Google form and yeah. click a link in a Google form that just asks for their name and everything, you know. But the nice thing about using, like, the MailChimp or a, a CEO page or you know, something like that is that it's automatically put into an email list for you. So just streamlines it. Okay. Then you want to make a call about that? <laughs> we could do that. We can do Write that. Absolutely. Um, next week. <laughs> next week's call. So a next call on MailChimp or something like that? Yeah. On, on, a, yeah, the email list. Like, yeah. Lead collector. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, and I, I guess I can show you guys some different options. I mean, if you're a, if you're a member of Automatic a, or the ACEO, you have landing pages is what they call it that you can send people to. Um, you can create your own forms in there. You have MailChimp, you have a Google Doc. You know, um, the MailChimp, I believe, is pretty much free. Uh, Google Docs are, of course, free. So that's something to consider, too, if you're on a budget and everything then you know you you want to watch that so okay any other questions no all right oh oh hold on hold on tiffany has a question go ahead tiffany. i do it's not necessarily relating to this so i could probably i am you but are y'all doing a um 